In the book, Russia, Myths and Realities, author and former ambassador to Moscow, Roderick Braithwaite, uh, looks at what shaped Russia into the country it is today, and he joins us to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. You always hear the analysts saying, well, what's Putin going to do? What does he say? What does he really mean? You say they're really not as complex as we make them out to be. How so? Well, I think uh, I don't think Putin's particularly difficult to understand. I don't think Russia is much more difficult to understand than lots of other countries, including my own, which is in a mess at the moment, and perhaps including America. But you do have to know the background and you have to know the history. Well, let's talk about that. Uh, what does Russian history tell us in regards to what we might predict from Vladimir Putin? Well, I think the first thing is that Putin is obsessed by the history of his country, by a version of the history of his country, which is shared by very many other Russians. He didn't invent his story about Ukraine. It's a story and a, a, a view of that history that goes back centuries, certainly to the 18th century. And I don't think Russians in the 19th or the 20th century would have been very surprised by Putin's view that Ukraine is an integral part of historic Russia and that there's something wrong with the situation where Ukraine is independent. I think that's a general view in Russia. Sure. Is that Russia, they seem to see themselves as, as victims. Is that why they prefer someone who may be strong and wrong? Well, I think the whole business of why the Russians go in for, for having strong men in charge is um, it's much discussed, and I, uh, my own view is that is that it stems from the fact that Russia is much too big a country to manage, and much too poor a country to manage. Mm. And Catherine the Great said that it could only be managed by an autocrat, and I think most many Russians would agree with that. Mm. What do you see and happening in the series? Based on your knowledge of of Russia and and Vladimir Putin, what do you see happening with this conflict in Ukraine? Well, I, I, I spend a great deal of time saying that I'm not capable of predicting the future, and in my view, neither is anybody else much. But I think, first of all, this is a war which is going to end with some kind of compromise. It's not going to end as the Second World War did with the absolute defeat of the losers and the ability of the winners to impose their view of of what should be done on the defeated nations. So it's going to end with a, some kind of compromise. I'm myself am rather against trying to tell the Ukrainians what compromises they might feel they need to make at a certain point, um, because that's their business. They're doing the fighting and they're doing the dying. And my worry is that the rest of us will begin to think our interests are more important than theirs, and that, that will lead to another betrayal of yet another East European country. And betraying Eastern European countries is something that the West has been rather good at over the last 50 or 100 years. Interesting. Well, the, the book is called Russia, Myths and Realities. It is available now. Roderick, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.